Today you are going to be making a rotation tessellation. So this is just about as easy as the translation tessellation, but it makes um, a little bit of a more or a little bit more of an interesting pattern when you start to trace it down on the paper. So what you do is just like with the translation tessellation, you draw some sort of design on the sides of your square. Um, I recommend doing the designs across from each other. With the translation, you were doing them on the side and the bottom, most likely. But with these, I'm going to draw the designs right across from each other. Now, watch what I do after we cut them out. Let's cut this side out. So you've got those done. I'm going to cut the other side out. Okay. So now I've got my two pieces here. And if this was a translation, then this piece would be slid directly across to this side. But because this is a rotation tessellation, what you're going to do is take this piece and rotate it right on this corner. So now it's sitting along the side that is right next to the side that you cut it. So let me show you that again. I take this piece and I rotate it so that it's sitting right on that edge next to the edge where I cut it. And then I'm going to tape it together. Okay, now we've got that one done. Now this side, I need to rotate this one as well. So I could have rotated it up this way, but there's something already there. So I need to rotate it down this way so that it sits along this edge. Let me show you that again. So I'm going to take it from here and we're going to swing it down and line it up along this edge. And then we take. All right. And so you can see that this is what I get in the end. Once you've got your shape, practice tracing it so you can see all the pieces fit together in your sketchbook. I want to show you what mine looks like. Remember from our reading that a rotation tessellation rotates around a center point. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but here's the center point, and it's going to rotate all the way around that center point. Now I've drawn kind of lightly, so I know it's probably a little bit hard to see, but I've traced the one with the pattern on it a little bit darker. Um, I thought it looked kind of like a guy with some crazy hair. So I went ahead and drew in those designs, and you can do the same if you think you see some sort of recognizable shape within the pattern that you've made. Now feel, feel free to make as many of these as time will allow, and hopefully you find something that you like. Thanks!